Have you ever heard a secret so big it's hard to believe? Well, get ready, because the music industry is buzzing with a juicy rumor that might just blow your mind. Picture this. The legendary Whitney Houston, with her angelic voice and timeless hits, may have a hidden link to another famous figure. Now, you might be wondering, who could possibly be connected to Whitney in such a surprising way? Some folks are saying Teresa Graves might actually be Whitney Houston's biological mother. Yeah, you heard that right. The same Teresa Graves from the TV show Get Christy Love. Sounds too juicy to be true, right? But hey, stranger things have happened in the world of showbiz. <laughs> Floors down. The rumor mill is churning with whispers about Whitney's family secrets. It's like something out of a movie, but it's real life. Now, the rumor is that Sissy Houston, who has been living quietly, has finally stepped forward to confirm what people have been speculating for years. Now you might be scratching your head, wondering why this is such a big deal. Well, imagine finding out that the person you thought you knew so well had a whole different story hidden away. It's like discovering a secret treasure buried in your backyard. Teresa Graves was a big name back in the day, just like Whitney. And guess what? They kind of look alike, too. I'm talking about similar facial features, the shape of their eyes, even the way they smile. Coincidence? Maybe. Or maybe there's something more to it. Plus, there's talk that Teresa and Whitney's mom, Sissy Houston, were friends back in the day. Coincidence? Maybe not. Now, you might be wondering, how could such a big secret stay hidden for so long? Well, that's part of what makes this rumor so intriguing. Could it be true that Whitney's real mother was someone other than who we've always believed? So folks, get ready to be surprised, intrigued, and maybe even a little emotional. This is the inside story you've been waiting for, straight from the source. Whitney Houston's mom is ready to tell all, and you won't want to miss a word of it. So now, let's talk about Teresa Graves, the alleged mom of Whitney Houston, and how they're possibly connected. Growing up, Teresa Graves didn't have fancy stuff or lots of money, but she had something special inside her, a spark that would light up the world. Born in Houston, Texas in 1948, Teresa was the youngest in her family and life wasn't always easy. You see, back then, things were divided by the color of your skin. Teresa was African-American, and that meant facing unfair rules and lots of limited opportunities. But Teresa didn't let that stop her. Even as a little girl, she loved pretending and making people laugh. Whenever there was a chance to perform, Teresa was there, shining bright like a star. Her parents noticed her talent and cheered her on. They may not have had much, but they had love and belief in their daughter. As Teresa grew up, she kept chasing her dreams. Whenever there was a chance to perform, she'd jump right in. She acted in school plays and local shows, pouring her heart into every performance. People couldn't help but notice her charm and natural gift for acting. Then, something amazing happened. Teresa got her big break on TV. She appeared on shows like The Smothers Brothers Comedy Hour and Laugh In, showing off her acting chops to the world. But the real magic came when Teresa landed the role of Christy Love, an undercover detective with smarts and sass. This wasn't just any role, it was groundbreaking. Teresa became the first African-American woman to play the lead in a crime drama series. Get Christy Love wasn't just a show, it was a game changer. Teresa's character wasn't waiting to be rescued. She was the one doing the rescuing. She showed everyone that black women could be strong, smart, and powerful, breaking stereotypes along the way. People of all colors tuned in to watch Teresa kick and take names. She wasn't just an actress, she was a hero, inspiring folks everywhere to believe in themselves and fight for their dreams. Teresa Graves didn't just light up the screen, she lit a fire in the hearts of millions. But life happened as it usually does. Her life became a life full of twists and turns, just like a roller coaster ride. Teresa was married twice in her life team. Her first marriage was to a man named Richard Hooker, but sadly, their love train reached a dead end. 
and they parted ways. But Teresa didn't lose hope in finding her happy ending. She boarded another train of love when she married James Randolph in 1974. Their journey together lasted until Teresa's unexpected departure from this world. Teresa didn't have any children of her own, but her heart overflowed with love for her family and friends. They were her anchors, keeping her grounded through life's storms. She cherished every moment spent with them, filling her days with laughter and joy. Outside of her acting gigs, Teresa had a bunch of hobbies that brought color to her life. She loved diving into books, letting her imagination run wild with each turn of the page. Music was her soul's food, and she sang like a bird, filling the air with beautiful melody. And oh, she was a spiritual soul, finding strength in her faith when life threw curveballs her way. But Teresa's journey wasn't all sunshine and rainbows. Being a black woman in the entertainment world during the 1960s and 1970s meant she faced more than her fair share of hurdles. Racism and discrimination tried to dim her light, but Teresa stood tall, refusing to let them cast shadows over her dreams. She became a beacon of hope, showing that talent knows no color. One of Teresa's toughest moments came when her show, Get Christy Love, got the boot in 1975. Despite its roaring success and critical acclaim, the show was axed after just one season. It hit Teresa hard, like a punch to the gut. But she wasn't one to stay down for long. With grit and determination, she dusted herself off and marched forward, ready to conquer new stages. After the show ended, Teresa kept acting, but she didn't land roles as big as Christy Love. She popped up on other shows like The Love Boat and Fantasy Eastland, but nothing quite matched the excitement of her detective days. Still, Teresa didn't let that stop her. She kept working in the entertainment world and even tried her hand at theater. But as time passed, she found herself moving away from acting and into other things. You see, Teresa wasn't just about fame and fortune. She cared about helping others. She spent a lot of time doing good deeds for different causes and being involved in her community. People admired her not just for her acting skills, but also for her big heart. Then, tragedy struck. In 2002, there was a terrible fire at Teresa's house. It happened because of a broken heater, and even though people tried to save her, Teresa couldn't escape the smoke. Her death was like a punch in the gut for everyone who knew her and those who loved watching her on screen. People were heartbroken because Teresa wasn't just an actress. She was a friend, a role model, and a real-life hero. After she passed away, people couldn't stop talking about Teresa. They shared stories about how she broke barriers in Hollywood and how she inspired others to chase their dreams. Even though she might not have become a megastar after Get Christy Love, Teresa's impact was huge and lasting. Now, you know more about Teresa Graves' life, so here's where it gets interesting. Let's change gear, folks, and talk about the whispers going around, a secret that made people's ears perk up with curiosity. You see, back in the 60s and 70s, when Whitney and Teresa were making waves in the music scene, things were changing a lot in America. There were big movements for civil rights, and music was right at the heart of it all. Genres like soul, gospel, and R&B were becoming really popular. Both Whitney and Teresa started out in these genres, singing their hearts out. Even though Teresa later became an actress, you know that already, music was still a big part of who she was. And Whitney, oh, she had a voice that could touch your soul, just like the music of those times. Now, here's where the rumor comes in. Some people started saying that Teresa might actually be Whitney's real mother. Can you imagine that? Two famous singers connected by something so personal and secret? Nobody knows for sure if it's true, but there were whispers and hints dropped by people in the music industry. And you know how rumors spread like wildfire, especially when they involve famous people. Back then, being a singer, especially a black woman like Whitney or Teresa, wasn't easy. There were lots of challenges, and sometimes they had to keep parts of their lives hidden to protect their careers. Maybe that's why, if there was any truth to the rumor, they kept it hush-hush. And you know, back then, people didn't talk openly about personal stuff like they do now. If something scandalous came out, it could really hurt their careers. So maybe that's why the rumor stuck around for so long, even though there wasn't any real proof. But even if it wasn't true, people couldn't help but wonder. 
Whitney and Teresa were both such incredible singers, and yeah, they had a lot in common. Same skin tone, eyes, nose, smile, and hair. Even their voices sounded alike, both blessed with powerful singing chop. Teresa was born in 1948 and Whitney in 1963, both in Houston, Texas. But there's more. Some say Teresa had Whitney when she was just 15 and gave her up for adoption to Sissy Houston, who was Teresa's aunt. And get this, Teresa's middle name was Marie just like Whitney's. Maybe that's why the rumor kept coming up again and again, even long after they were gone. But you know what's really special about this rumor? It shows just how much people loved Whitney and Teresa. They were more than just singers to their fans. They were like symbols of strength and inspiration, especially for black women who faced a lot of challenges back then. Now let's talk about their careers. Teresa started off singing with the Doodletown Pipers, a group that appeared on TV in the late 1960s. Then she shifted gears to acting, showing up on shows like Rowan and Martin's Laugh-In and In Movies. But her big break came when she played Christy Love, a cool detective fighting crime in LA. She was a trailblazer, becoming the first black woman to headline her own drama series. She opened doors for stars like Pam Greer and Angela Bassett, as mentioned earlier. Whitney, on the other hand, became a superstar in the music world. Her voice ruled the charts in the 80s and 90s. Born in Newark, New Jersey on August 9, 1963, she wasn't just destined for greatness. She was greatness, right from the start. Growing up in a house filled with music, her mom, Sissy Houston, yeah, you heard right, herself a renowned gospel singer, played a big part in shaping Whitney's love for music. Surrounded by family members like Dionne Warwick and Dee Dee Warwick, who were also into music, Whitney was immersed in a world where songs weren't just tunes, but a way of living. Her journey into the music biz started with a bang in the early 1980s when music bigwig Clive Davis spotted her talent. Her debut album in 1985 shot her straight to the stars with three back-to-back -back number one hits, making her a global sensation. With her powerful voice and magnetic stage presence, Whitney became a name that everyone knew and loved. Throughout her career, Whitney blended pop, R&B, and gospel into her music, creating a sound that was uniquely hers. Hits like I Will Always Love You and I Wanna Dance With Somebody became anthems for a generation, earning her awards and love from fans worldwide. But life wasn't all glitz and glam for Whitney. She faced struggles in her personal life, especially with her marriage to fellow singer Bobby Brown. Reports of substance abuse and troubles at home overshadowed her achievements, making her battles public and painful. Yet, Whitney's voice remained her legacy. With a range that seemed endless and a technique that was flawless, she set the bar high for singers everywhere. Her influence stretched far and wide, inspiring artists like Mariah Carey and Beyonce. Despite her demons, Whitney shone bright on the silver screen, too. Roles in movies like The Bodyguard and Waiting to Exhale proved she was more than just a singer. She was a talented actress, too. But what set Whitney apart was her heart. Despite her own struggles, she always found time to give back. She supported causes close to her heart, from children's welfare to advocating for the marginalized. Then came the tragic day on February 11, 2012, when Whitney was found in a Beverly Hills hotel room, her life cut short by accidental drowning, worsened by heart disease and use. The news shook the world, leaving millions mourning the loss of an icon. Whitney Houston wasn't just a singer. She was a force of nature, a woman whose voice touched hearts and whose life inspired millions. But here's the thing. There's no real proof that Teresa and Whitney were mother and daughter. It's just talk. They were both talented women who made their mark on the world in their own ways. Teresa broke barriers in TV, and Whitney ruled the music scene. They might have shared some similarities, but that doesn't mean they're family. Whether or not they're related, Teresa Graves and Whitney Houston left a lasting legacy. They showed the world what black women could do in entertainment. Teresa paved the way for others to follow, and Whitney set the bar high with her incredible voice and presence. They might not be mother and daughter, but they'll always be remembered as two remarkable women who changed the game.